This is raw amber, you judge. This is raw amber from the Dominican Republic, so a fossilized tree resin right here from the Hymenaea proterra tree, which produced very large globs of resin in its day. And uh, this can be sanded down into something more polished that then looks like this. And you can get beautiful colors out of it and beautiful shapes. That's polished and that's raw. That's called a slab right there. And uh, the more yellow and translucent, the better. So this one's good quality. That one's lower quality. And it works a little better if it's a little darker. So I'm taking this light off of my camera. It's going to be a little darker. This piece is very dark, so it's very low quality. Compared to this, nice gemmy quality. More yellow, more better. Less cracks is better. This one has a little crack running down over here. Do you see it? We also like reddish colors. That one's not that translucent, so not that good. Let me show you this one from my personal collection. This is red Dominican amber. And this is red from oxidation, so this piece was close to the surface of the earth. Ooh, there's a big crack running through it. You guys hear the police out there? Or maybe the ambulance? ASMR, you live in the city. Um, let's see, another piece. Oh, here, let me zoom out. Here's something interesting. When amber miners mine this, they'll mine a piece out of the ground, and then they'll cut it in half with a machete. So this piece right here has, this has another sister piece somewhere in here. Where did it go? I actually can't find it right now. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Hope I didn't sell it. Where'd you go? Well, I guess I can't show you, but we're going with this video anyways, so full steam ahead, huh? Check it out. Here's some more reddish amber from my personal collection. This one right here, let's see the color on this guy. Oh, he's not red. Oh, he's got good colors. That's what he is. Watch this. So amber can have like secondary colors when you top light it. And this one has some greens and some blues. Actually, this one has some very vibrant blues. Blue Dominican amber is fossilized trees, like uh, it's fossilized smoke, forest fires settled into the amber. And it, that's where you get that blue hue. And that's one of the rarest, most desirable colors in the world. So this raw piece, if polished, would produce a beautiful green blue blue green let me see if I can zoom in a little more you see the colors in that and that's raw too so it shows more when it's polished let's see next piece what's going on with this guy from back he's pretty yellow ooh that looks very blue let's get it wet let me dip it in this water over here and boom there we go that's super blue and so that is the even higher grade blue Dominican amber that means that this amber was produced in a forest fire and the smoke settled in to the yellow amber and it gives it this beautiful blue hue. That only happens when it's top lit. If it's back lit, it's yellow. And if it were to have an insect inclusion, which it might, it would be even better. Next piece, this one looks very red. This one's very red. Not really showing well on camera. Not super translucent, but very red skin. We'll check out that skin. You can see it's a little bit different. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but it's a redder, flakier skin. Here's another red one. Uh, here's another red one. That one's nah. Uh, where did I put mine? This one's good. I sold my best one for some reason. Shipped it off last week, actually. So there's that. Um, here's another raw piece that I've set aside for myself. Looks very jimmy. This piece looks like it might have like in hydros or something. Let's see, I put this one aside for myself. Maybe this one's blue. This one could be cool. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That is a super blue. So that's a raw blue Dominican amber there. And that looks like a very good grade. Very, very good blue on that one. And oh, getting the floor dirty. Dripping dirt on it. So backlit medium translucency. There could actually sometimes be burnt wood or charcoal or stuff inside, 
which makes it super, super blue. And uh, that's good. So that's blue amber. I see another small chunk over here. What's going on with you? This one's already polished. That is a polished blue amber, but it has some scratches. Nice though. Oh, and then this, I just grabbed this slab for myself yesterday. I know it's kind of dark, but my, uh, my light's off to show you guys the back colors. This is a red amber slab. Boom, that's red Dominican amber. Well, my hands are all dirty from dipping them in the water. And this one has a great green that comes off of it when you hit it with the flashlight or the sunlight. In fact, I can go over to the sunlight now. So let me try and see if I can't just get some sunlight on this thing. Thank you guys for watching these videos if you do, by the way. Can't really get the sunlight on it that, oh, oh. Where'd you go? Almost had it. Did you guys see that? It like flashed the color super quickly. You just gotta get it at the right angle. Try and get that color. There it is. Look at that. That's it in the natural sunlight. Thank you guys for watching if you've watched this far. Beautiful greens and a little bit of blues and like reds behind it. That's a beautiful piece. So that's red Dominican amber. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one and stay tuned for live feeds. I offer this stuff on live feeds only and my website. You can actually go to my website, amberbugs.com, but also when I start doing live feeds here on YouTube, then I will offer these pieces and a lot more on those. So polish and amber and have fun. <laughs> Share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.